let's take a look at how to put a pretty face on data that you might have linked to shapes. In this video I'm going to show you how to create data graphics which Visio 2010 professional and premium users can do. Sorry standard users, you're not going to be able to do this, but you might want to watch the video because it you might find it interesting any way, anyway in case you feel like upgrading in the future. So what do we have here is a bunch of light bulb shapes that we've been creating as we go and each of these is actually linked to data that was imported from an external Excel file. You can see there's lots of different different items there with some of them are linked, some of them aren't. If you see, look for the little chain link icon and if you just click on the shapes in the page itself you can see you've got power and model and bulb type and ID information filled out that corresponds to the data in the data window below. So there we've got a 9 watt Sylvania compact fluorescent and down here we've got a GE Energy Smart LED that only burned 3 watts. So what we want to do is add data gra gra graphics to these shapes because right now you can't see any of the data. They all just look like incandescent light bulbs which although iconic for a light bulb doesn't really tell the story of what each one of these shapes represents. So the first step is to go over to the data tab on the ribbon and click on data graphics, drop this down. And you can see that we can immediately create a new data graphic, which we'll do right now. And let's just color these shapes by the value of their power rating. I'm going to revisit this twice, so just watch quickly. All, all you have to do is say new item and we'll choose a field and you can see Visio's found the shape data fields in the drawing. Let's click on the power and then let's just say color by value. And what you'll see immediately is that Visio's looked at the existing values and broken them down between 0 and 80 in nice increments and we'll be able to create a heat map. Now I don't like 80 here because I think that at some point I might have up to 100 watt bulbs so I'm going to show you a little trick to make this happen a little bit easier. Let's just cancel out of here. I'm just going to drag another light bulb onto the page and it set its value to 100. Well it already was 100. So now we have a, a maximum and maybe we'll just put a minimum just to be safe. Zero. So now let's go back to our data graphics. Let's create a new data graphic. We'll add a new item, we'll choose power again, and we'll select color by value. And now we've got 0 to 100 broken down for us automatically, instead of having to do the math ourselves and break out these ranges. So you can see from 0 to 25 is going to be white. Let's change that and let's make it a, a cool blue color, so something like this. We'll use gaudy colors for the example, why not? And then we'll say a high energy bulb that is red hot and wasting lots of energy. So you can see we're going to have a, a gradation, a heat map from blue to red. And you can add more levels in there if you want, but we'll just leave it like this for now. So we'll hit OK and we're back to the main screen. Now remember a data graphic is built up of several items, so it doesn't have to be just one item. But let's just stay with our color by value for now and then we'll add to it as we go. So we'll hit OK and we'll select everything on the page and we'll look at our drop down and see ah there's our heat map icon and when we click on it you can see that we've got red and blue ones so if we look at the blue you can see yeah it's 10 watts, it's 13 watts, 3 watts, these are pretty low wattage and if we click on red we've got 75 watts and the medium color is 60 watts and of course that's our 100 and our 0. So that looks like it's working pretty good. Let's go back to the data graphics drop down. Now these these icons aren't really very helpful especially if you have a lot of similar data graphics so you might want, you, you'll notice that if you pause your mouse over them you get a, a tooltip that shows you the name of the data graphic. So data model type power to. So why don't we rename ours from data graphic to something more useful. And the way you do that is to right click, say rename. We'll follow Visio's standard of saying data first, then we'll put a hyphen and then we'll put light bulb. And we'll say one in case we come back and have light bulb two, light bulb three, at least we'll know that the data graphics apply to light bulbs and they aren't some of the built-in ones that Visio provided. Which I forgot to mention, you'll see that there's already some defined by Visio 
So now we pause over that data light bulb one. We know that's our our data graphic, and we can proceed to expand upon it now. So let's right click on that and it says edit, and we can add a new item, and let's just show off the model for each for each light bulb as text. So there's the model field right there. We'll select that as the data to display, and we'll say let's use text to show it off. Now you can see there's several styles. There's text callout, circle, triangle, heading one, heading two, etc. Let's just choose the bubble callout. And usually the default values are just what you need, but notice that sometimes there's a scroll bar here. There's some extra fields that you might want to take note of. And we're going to show the value and the label will just be the default. So these, these brackets kind of tell you to just take the label from the shape data field itself. And let's just accept all the, the defaults for now. We can change the posi position of it. Let's horizontally center it and then let's place it below the shape that way down here. So there's several canned predefined locations so you don't have to specify any numbers or anything, just choose from the list. So we'll set uh, OK. And now you can see that our light bulb one data graphic has two data items or data graphic items in it. So let's just hit apply and see what happens. You can see in addition to the heat map we also have some textual information below each shape. So let's carry this on. Let's add another item. We'll hit new item. And I think Generally, the, the, the power is actually kind of interesting to look at because it's a number that changes widely from bulb to bulb. So let's just choose that again and see what else is available. Well, text won't, isn't super, super valuable for a number because we can click on each shape and look at the number. But a data bar might be nice. So here we go. We've got progress bars, star ratings, etc. Like the several styles of data bars, even little repeatable people or thermometers. Thermometer might be fun, but let's just do a straight progress bar for now. So this actually works well. We've got from 0 to 100, which is pretty much our range of wattage. Let's see the position. We'll just accept all the defaults for these. We want to show the value. We've got the value, the label, things like that. Font sizes, we'll just leave that all default for now. The default position is the far right centered vertically. That sounds good, so let's just hit OK. And again, you can always hit Apply without leaving the dialog, and if you don't like the way it looks in the drawing window, just come back and edit it right away. So let's just hit Apply and see how that looks. So that's pretty cool. You can see the 75 watt bulb down here goes almost all the way to the right, and the 13 watt bulb well, just goes a little bit from left to right. So that's actually a nice visualization right there. I mean the data graphic is getting pretty busy, but the point of this is to show you how to define data graphics and and apply them to your shapes. So let's add one last item. This one's actually kind of fun. And we'll key that off of the bulb type. Now you remember we've got five different bulb types. We've got compact fluorescence, we've got halogens, incandescence, LEDs and then we've got other first things that we don't know. So we're going to create an icon set that shows shows each bulb type with a little icon. Now it'd be nice to build something that looks exactly like some sort of representation of each bulb type and you see that in the book, but for now let's just choose one of the built-in icon sets that Visio provides for us. Now we've got, it turns out we have five different bulb types and icon sets generally work with five icons, at least the, the ones that Microsoft supplies. And I'm trying to think of one that makes sense for bulb types. I mean you could you could go from the most efficient being LED to the least efficient being incandescence, that might be nice. Or we could just have some fun and use the happy faces. So. Unfortunately, Visio doesn't pick up on the possible values for this field, even though there's five separated by semicolons. So we actually have to type them in. But we can say the big smiley face, that would be the LED, because they almost use no power at all. They're very green, very environmentally friendly. The next ones up the list are the 
compact fluorescence. Halogens are pretty good. And then incandescents are the least environmentally friendly. Now we'll put other down here just because we, ha we need a fifth value or we have a fifth value, we don't really need one. And I don't know that other is necessarily the least happiest of all the bulb types. But if you think of other being as a, a torch dipped in tar and burning and putting out a lot of soot, then maybe it would be a real big frown, environmentally speaking. But that's not the point. We just want to see how this works. So let's see. We can put that, maybe put it on the, the left in the top or yes so it'll be in the top left corner of the shape maybe slightly overlapping the shape but not obscuring anything important we'll hit OK we'll hit apply and we'll hit OK again and inspect these see if that all makes sense so here we've got a red bulb from Philips it burns at 75 watts and it's got a fairly unhappy face we move up here you can see we've got a we've got a happy face that's only burning nine watts from Sylvania we've got another happy face burning 13 watts and that's from GE Energy Smart so you can see that from a bunch of plain yellow light bulbs that had meaningful data behind them all of a sudden we can actually get a good picture just in a glance as to uh, say which light bulbs inside of our office space need replacing if we had had a office plan of our you know where we work and we had recorded every light bulb with data we'd say well let's replace the red ones first or make sure that they don't get replaced with other incandescent bulbs they get slowly phased out so that we can save money on our monthly electric bill so there you have it data graphics for Visio 2010 Pro and Premium pretty interesting stuff it's really nice to put a pretty face to your data